Okay guys, we've arrived at the Bunbury Farmers Markets. This is um, on the corner of Victoria Road and the Australian Bypass, heading into Bunbury. Over 90% of fruit and veg in this place comes from local uh, farmers around the place or from anywhere in WA. And see there's an array of um, fruit and veggies here. Um, the fruit and veg looked reasonably priced. And they've also got um, takeaway, pre-packaged takeaway foods here. Yeah, the fruit and veg in this place is sourced from about 150 different growers around the state. Uh, it's a decent sized marketplace. Um, there's quite a few cafes in Yolsa. Strawberries $8.99 for the punter. That's pretty expensive. Very expensive actually. Now over 250 people are employed at this place. So um, got mangoes here $12.99 a kilo. I'm not sure if that's expensive or not, because in Perth they sell it per mango. So there's lots of um, lots of um, stalls over here that sell different things like cakes and drinks and all sorts of goodies. The grapes, the grapes over here is fairly reasonably priced at $3.99 a kilo. That's pretty good. I'm not sure if that's seedless. No, it's not. Not seedless. You, you want seedless for that price. These ones here are $5.99 a kilo and they seedless grapes. That's not badly priced also. But th these are the red ones. But the white ones over there are $9.99. I don't know why that's so expensive. Okay, so these are seedless grapes here. You can sample it if you want to. $29.99 for figs over there, very expensive. So as you can look around, kiwi fruit $14.99 a kilo. They're pretty big kiwi fruit, but I'm, I'm not sure if that's a good price or not. $4.99 each for a rock melon, that's not bad. $5.99 each for a, for a pineapple, that's pretty good. In Perth I've seen them for $8. Here we got jupe jupes here, I don't know what that is. So here we go, there's pre-packaged um, salads. And stuff there's a Mexican vegetable mix you've got um, broccoli two for five dollars that's not bad so as we turn the corner here yeah, you've got cauliflower on the side over here $4.99 each, that's pretty expensive, I thought. The lettuce, the lettuce isn't too badly priced here at $2.49 each. And you've got kale at $2.49, that's pretty good. Because Coles and Woolies sells kale for $4.50. So don't shop at Coles and Woolies, come to Bunbury Markets if you're here in the area. Half the price. So we've got some chilies over here. Check this out guys. That is absolutely crazy. $69.99 a kilo. That is madness. 
and you've got the habanero chilies also 69.99 a kilo for that that's actually bullshit a bullshit price to be honest with you okay as we move on pre-packaged um, fruit and veg uh, salads over here some of them have got rice added with it you can see over there that looks pretty cool these things look quite fresh this over here for instance is $6.99 for that that's not too badly priced it's got noodles in it by the way garlic at $39.99 a kilo this will be Australian grown stuff in my opinion it's pretty expensive but that's what everyone sells it for So over here you've got uh, blue potatoes for $3.99 a kilo. That's not too badly priced. And you've got the white potatoes for the same price. They're all washed, by the way. That's not too badly priced. I mean, you can get it cheaper. And then you've got uh, two kilo bagged potatoes over there for $1.99. And if you've got red potatoes for $3.99. So the two kilo bag is probably the better thing to buy. Here's an array of uh, fish over here, guys. And um, a few, there's a seafood pot pie. Two pack over there, $17.99. Yeah, I don't know about that. I wouldn't personally buy it. But if you think it's good value, let us know in the comments below. Then you've got frozen um, seafood over here quite a big free freezer of frozen seafood you've got fresh meats over there as a butcher this lady has got doing some Hello, meats over here how beef. beef beautiful so can I can I try local, one a local beef supplier please do mm, nice and tender Excellent. beautiful Thank mm. You. Mm. Okay. So a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh. Just over there. A little bit of salt and pepper. That's all from them. So that piece of steak with the lovely lady gave me there. That's um, Harvey beef. And truly, I wasn't just saying it, but it was really, really tender and very tasty. Enjoyed that. So as we make our way through the markers you've just seen a lot of fresh meat over there all packaged there's the eggs over here they look um, reasonably expensive um, for instance well, pretty much. these ones here that... out and about eggs never heard of them probably local $9.99 for a dozen $9.99 Australian dollars for a dozen that's pretty expensive stuff Yeah, we've got um, a lot of pre-packaged uh, food over here. These ones here. So the here, for instance, is a lamb former curry. And $11.99. That's um, pretty costly, really. Make your own probably cheaper. But if, you need, if you're on the run and you um, need something quick to eat, that might be a good option for you. Now we've got all our um, fruits over here, pre-packaged. Uh, you've got ru rhubarb, frozen punnet. That's rhubarb over there. That's $14.99. Don't know much about the price of rhubarb, so I don't know if that's cheap, but I would think it's quite expensive. So uh, what have we got here? These are dips, all sorts of dips. These things are $8.99 for the large ones and $4.99 for the small ones over there. Uh, that's not bad because it's quite a big dip. We've got um, coming into the cheeses area here, guys. Also, here we go. This brie and cam camembert cheese, two for six bucks. That's pretty good. That's not bad. 
two of these for six dollars. We might have to get some. What do you think, Susan? Yep. So, through a year we've got some more food and stuff over here. This looks pretty good. And some ham and salamis and all sorts of stuff. Salamis hanging up there. And check this out, guys. Nice ham over here. As we make our way through the farmers markets, we've got more um, pre-packaged um, stuff over here, pastas and stuff, knockies, garlic bread down the bottom for $2.99. That's not too bad. I think that's a that's a twin pack in there. Yep, twin pack. That's two. You get two garlic breads in there for $2.99. There we are. This is the. This looks like a local milks. Cheeky cow. $3.99. Not too bad for a local type milk. And you got camel. Look at this guy's camel milk over here. Pure Australian camel milk. $14.99 for a bottle. Guys, why has the price of milk gone through the roof? This is probably a question for the government, for the politicians out there, who like to bob their head around. Why has the price of milk gone up $6 for a 3 litre Brown's milk? That's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. And you've got, you can buy milk at other shops around Perth for $4.50 for 3 litres. So, 6 bucks. Even Woolworths and Coal sells it for that price. Get your acts together, politicians. Sort, these price ga sort this price gouging out. This is absolute bullshit. Okay, here we got some nougat. I've had my little vent. That's Ivor's whinge of the day. Milk. So here we got some nougat. This nougat look pretty good. Pretty expensive though, for $9.99. For a slice. Hang on, Susan. You get a slice of nougat. Like that. For $9.99 pretty expensive. All your um, chutneys and honeys and whatever you through, yeah? <coughs> As we move through the Bunbury Farmers Markets, another array of cheeses. These cheeses look pretty good. Check the price of this. This here is an English cranberry cheddar. It's the light shining and I can't see it. Uh, $29.99 per kilo. So for this piece here, you are paying $6.36 for that little piece of cheese. So if you think it's good value, leave a comment below for us. If you think it's not good value, leave a comment below also. So we've got some um, sage derby cheese over here. I don't know what that is, but that's six dollars sixty-four for that little slice there, six sixty-four or thirty-nine ninety-nine a kilo for that. Anzac biscuits. These don't look like Anzac biscuits to me, they look a little bit more like meringues. Okay, Lamingtons. Lamingtons over here. $7.99 for four. Mm. If it was from a bakery, a nice big meringue, a sorry, a Lamington with some cream and jam in it for that price, then you'd go, okay. So here's some uh, breads and stuff in the fridge, Gr gluten free breads. As we worm our way through Bunbury Farmers Markets in Bunbury in Western Australia. 
come across a few spices over there, all the spices, spice rack, different spices, they look pretty good. $3.99 a bottle or jar. Pardon me. Now, here's some cakes over here, guys. These are $9.99 for six of them. They're pretty small. $9.99 for six. Don't know about that. Let us know what you think. Is it cheap? Is it expensive? Is it a good price? Let us know in the comments below. This is the Bunbury Farmers Markets. This over here is a six pack of um, profiteroles for $9.99. Now, they don't look too bad. They don't look too bad. They look pretty good actually. $9.99 for six. This one here is an apple strudel. That's $17.99 for that apple strudel it's not that big guys not that big a family of four and you'll brush it off in one go for $17.99 Australian dollars flowers guys if you need to buy some flowers for anyone they actually I'm looking at the prices here and they don't look too badly priced I mean this over here you only get three in there $14.99 I've seen them much more expensive at some other shops, so they're not too badly priced. Okay. Here's some more flowers here, 80 bucks for this. $80 for that, $79.99. They look half dead to be honest, so they're not that good. Check out over here. Cashews over here, $11.99. $11.99 for 3.75 grams. Pretty expensive. Pretty expensive. So guys, this is the end of the Bunbury Farmers Markets. Uh, let us know what you think. Let us know if, um, if the prices were reasonable or expensive or let us know exactly what you think in the comments below we'll be interested and please guys if you if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button and the like button uh, it does help the channel and here's some more goodies through here there's a little cafe over here and um, prices over here look okay. So we'll end this um, vlog now in the Bunbury Farmers Markets. So please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe.